Hold up. Are you getting into your explanation? Oh, you're right. My bad. Because you didn't explain. I right didn't. Then. We was going over definition of the question, you sir. You are right. I almost <laughs> jumped the gun. My I'm bad. like, wait Go a ahead. second now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> So the reason I said that women want to be taken care of financially is because, especially black women, we mm. have been strong for so too fucking long. Too long. So the first question is, do women want financial security in their relationships? Mm. Or, do they want to be taken care of financially? So I'm going to say they want to be taken care of financially. What say you? I agree. I, I believe that they want to be taken care of financially. Women like to be taken care of financially. That's my answer. All right. So before we get into the explanation, I feel like we need to kind of explain the question right. first. Because some of y'all might be like, man, what the fuck is the difference? Exactly. That's the same thing twice. Exactly. <laughs> so financial security to me means that our relationship is secure financially, meaning that we are both stable. Right. And then overall stable. Like there's no question of, you know, bills. <laughs> so uh, yeah, basically saying that bills aren't an issue exactly in that relationship that you know way. and even if something were to happen with one person there's still security right that yeah it's like that yeah that sense of safety and security like you're talking exactly about. um whereas taking care of financially means that mm. someone is paying your bills like you don't have to necessarily work or have to work as much or bring in as much like you have you don't yeah somebody else is holding that responsibility mm. Yeah, I would agree with those definitions. I think, like, to add on to the being taken care of financially piece, mm -hmm. I think there's, like, a level of being spoiled or, mm -hmm. like, uh, being kind of, like, uh, kind of, like, pampered a yeah, little bit. There's a little sure. bit of that element um, blended in with mm -hmm. that piece. And I think that is because of um, just this desire... Like you said, out it's like it's like the step before or the step after financial security. It's like you could be good and stable within your relationship, mm -hmm. um, but it's like you want extra mm -hmm. because that's a desired uh, aspect aspect of the relationship for you, whoever that is. I think a lot of women fall into that category because they've seen. Hold up, are you getting into your explanation? Oh, you're right. My bad. Because you didn't explain. I right. didn't. We was going over definition of the question, you sir. You are right. I almost <laughs> jumped the gun. Not I'm bad. like, wait go a ahead. second now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so the reason I said that women want to be taken care of financially is because, especially black women, we mm. have been strong for so too fucking strong, long. Too long. Like we've had Big Mama was the one holding down the household. Again, like I mentioned in the previous uh, segment, black women were always working. Like it's, it's been a thing. And we can't, we, um, especially recently with um, crack epidemic, uh, mass incarceration, the death of our men, like we haven't been able to <laughs> depend on black men in that way because they haven't been there. So women, ha black women have been working, working, working. And I think a lot of us are tired of having to be strong for so long. Um, and we just want to break and we want that someone to take care of us because we're always taking care of everybody else mm. but ourselves. So I think that's where it's coming from. Mm. Now, what's it? Oh, <laughs> um. You know, they didn't want to step on a black woman's toes or nothing. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, yeah, it, it stems from that idea of wanting more outside of the relationship because that's what you ultimately seen as your advantage. Well, it's been ultimately seen, ultimately been seen as one of the ways to get an advantage within the system. Because you're not allowed to have capital like that, or at least, at least historically you weren't. Mm -hmm. Getting a man who is and can provide baseline security on top of you having your needs. So basically, like baseline security 
in a world where you're basically an underclass citizen, which women were, and I would say still are to this day, um, just not as much, not as, as large of an extent. Yeah. Um, so if you're an underclass citizen and you get like the basics, that's not you getting ahead. You see what I'm saying? Mm, gotcha. So if you're like stable, mm-hmm. that's just you just like baseline. You're just like, all right, you're out here. You're just a regular person. But the next generation, and you can't you can't control your own destiny. You can't control like the next generation of like women at least going forward in your family. You could probably nurture the, the men in your family to do the same. But it's like if they're still under the same society, the only generation that's gonna thrive it's within gonna, your lineage yeah. is gonna be men. Yeah. So it's like even looking at it from that point of view, it's like I understand why there's that want and desire to have more than just the baseline security level of financial freedom. To that point, that baseline is not my baseline. My baseline right. is I can do what I want. <laughs> you know? Right. Like, it is I can get ahead. Mm-hmm. That's my baseline. Mm-hmm. Figure out what yours is. I'm just saying. Yeah, everybody's different. You know? And I also wanted to talk about women recognizing our divinity and in the aspect of we are great (laughs) and black women out here just 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 flourishing in our greatness you know we're the most educated demographic we're starting businesses left and right like we're becoming (laughs) you know we're becoming uh um top positions in like big companies and corporations like black women we are doing a damn thing we're doing it and i think that that is okay like i think again historically because of the stuff i mentioned in the first segment men have been the financial providers but it's, it's just now coming to a place especially within black women where black women are the financial providers we're making more than the men yep. and i think there's this well wait a minute this hat isn't how it's been i want the reverse because that's how it's been but i think it's important to to own our divinity like yes we're great and we are doing a damn thing and that's okay you know and it's like yes i want a partner who is great as well who's doing a damn thing his damn self you know but if i just so happen to make more i'm cool with that because it doesn't it doesn't lessen him as a man you know it doesn't make me superior than him because that's what patriarchy is Mm. we're not about to flip this shit (laughs) you know but it's just recognizing that that we are divine and we are flourishing in our divinity and I think that's okay. I got nothing to say about that one. That was all you, your, your impromptu thoughts. I, uh, I agree. So I'm okay with making more than a man. I mean, it doesn't really, it's not a big deal for me mm-hmm. at all. I just want him to be able to take care of himself. I think every human being should be able to take care of himself. You them. know? Independent, functioning, adult individuals. And then to whatever standard <laughs> that is that you would like, mm-hmm. going back to you deciding your own standard. Exactly. That's up to you. You know. You want the mansion life, then okay. You have to work for it and have the standards that would actually get you towards that mansion life. Mm-hmm. If not, if you're somebody who's more of a minimalist like me. It don't take much, and that's why I get to stack. You know. You know, I'm not. I'm not one of those people who needs to be flashy and do all these things and have all these uh, external factors of validation when it comes to using those, using my resources for that. For me, most of my work is internal, trying to make sure that our family grows and is stable, and that's that's the win for me. And that goes into our next question. Hmm. What a segue. <laughs> you be doing it without knowing it. Like, do you be peeping? Because <laughs> I'm like, you know I'm it's just natural. <laughs> All right. So the next question is either he's the perfect match, mm. except he's broke, or 
He's rich and you can't stand him. <laughs> well, of course, I'm going to pick the pay at Soro family. It's your girl, Rocky. And your boy, Elsa. And thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Right, because subscribing and hitting that notification bell does two very important things. One, it gives you notification on our new content and makes sure that you're up to date on everything that we put out every week. Every and, week. You know, every week. Every week. Uh, and then number two, it helps your boy and your girl out with some money. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep an eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's so real, baby. But in all seriousness, this is just like the video portion, the YouTube portion of our content. We so, are It's So Real Podcast. So we have all these episodes just waiting for y'all on how many platforms? 11 different streaming platforms. 11. So it's up to you to choose. Yeah, there's no excuses. We on everything. So whatever platform you're most comfortable listening to stuff, your content on, we're right there for you. So look us up. It's So Real Podcast. And our link tree is available on our YouTube channel. Go over there, find the platform that works best for you. Subscribe to our podcast and hear the full thing. Because we have a lot more to say than what shows up on our YouTube channel. Exactly. Um, with that being said, check out the rest of our videos while you're here. You know. <laughs> and be sure to subscribe. All right, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. And love. Always.